Today, we're gonna to be comparing the two Ninja Woodfire Outdoor products. We've got the old faithful here, the Woodfire Grill, and we've got the new hottie in town, the Woodfire Oven. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the similarities and differences, the pros and cons, what each can and cannot cook, and the accessories that are offered. And at the end, I'm gonna let you know which one I would choose if I had the choice. Now, we already have a ton of videos on the Woodfire Grill, but we are gonna be releasing a bunch of Woodfire Oven content, so make sure you're subscribed so you can cook outdoors like a pro. In the finale, if you're catching this before July 30th, we're gonna be giving away one of each of these, so make sure to stick around to the end to find out who you can win. Okay, so right off the bat, let's talk about the obvious differences. Here we have the wood fire grill. This is gonna be a grill. Opens like a grill, acts like a grill, comes in grill colors, right? It's dark, uh, it comes in black, it comes in gray, it comes in red. Then you've got the outdoor oven. So it's got this like brick oven red color. It has more of a presence on your deck or balcony and it's got a uh, opening from the front like an oven. Both of them have the options to add wood fire flavors to your food whenever you want it. I personally think that this looks more modern, more sleek, more appealing on my deck uh, if you have this space. Now this grill, the wood fire grill is definitely more portable. There's not really a good spot to pick this guy up. Whereas this has two handles on the side, the stand made for the grill is portable in itself. It collapses really easily. So if you're wanting a Ninja outdoor product to travel with, to be portable, uh, you're gonna wanna go with the wood fire grill. Both of these outdoor products pull 1,760 watts. So if you're trying to run this on a battery, you may not be able to, or you may be able to for a small period of time. So check your battery details if you are looking to do something like that. So if you're looking for something that's gonna be more permanent on your deck or balcony, I would lean more towards the outdoor oven. Now let's talk about price. This outdoor oven is gonna be $400 and some change after tax. The outdoor grill comes in two options. You've got just the outdoor grill. This is gonna be 370. Uh, this is gonna come with the grill, the griddle pan in the bottom, and a combo crisper basket. So for the pro model of this outdoor grill, it's gonna run you $460. That's gonna include a lot more things and accessories. It's gonna include the cover. It's gonna include a second combo crisper basket, a veggie tray, a thermometer, roasting rack. You might have a lot of the things that it's offering in the pro model in your kitchen already. And the cover runs about 20 bucks. So it might be cheaper just to get the grill and the cover if you already have everything you need. Going further down the line here, we've got these two stands I wanna just talk about really quickly. Since they're not really about the grill, but they are what holds the grill up. They're like the shoes of our feet. They're what keeps us between the earth. It's important to have a grill stand and a cover if you're keeping it outside in the elements. Give it like a nice little home. Tell them you care about them, you know? They'll treat you better if you treat it well. So you've got the old school grill stand. This one only works for the grill um, and it is shorter. It's got like three little prongs here but they're kind of annoying and that's really all it offers other than the collapsibility which is pretty cool because it, it collapses really quickly. Uh, but then you're talking about this big guy. You can obviously tell it's taller. This is on an adjustment level so this is on the highest setting you can go two more down and then you can go really far down as like the base where if you wanted to fold it up or something, but it can go down about three inches more. And really cool thing, it has the options to have these side shelves. So the side shelf doesn't come with it, but it does come as an attachment for this stand. And you can put them on both sides, which is super, super cool because if you're into the grilling world, you know you need space outside because it's not in your kitchen. So you need some counter space to put utensils and food and the grill can fit on this stand. Okay, let's move on to the functions of these guys. What's different? As far as how it operates, they're basically just convection ovens. Let's be honest here. They are small units that are powered by convection fans and bottom heating elements that create delicious foods. I gotta give it to Ninja. They've done a really great job. So many people in the smoking and barbecuing world wanna hate their freaking guts because they're just an electric, Thing that's trying to make their way into the outdoor community. I'm sorry, Ninja's got something going on. 
They really do. And because they're such small units, they cook a lot faster. Ninja says it's about 40% quicker, and that's true. I've done grill offs. You might see it on my channel uh, where we take this wood fire and we put it head to head to big competition smokers like Camp Chef and Char Griller and Blackstone and what else, what other things do I have of the brisket? And it holds up to the grilling and smoking world really well. And it's surprising, but it's really awesome because I love that this is bringing like outdoor cooking to more people. Oh. That's another thing. The cord on the oven is longer than the cord on the grill. Look at this. Look at the difference. Let's talk about max temps and low temps. The lowest temp on the wood fire grill that it says is 145. Now it does have a cold smoke option, which doesn't actually say a temperature, but it's about 120 degrees. The outdoor oven goes as low as 105 degrees and as high as 700 degrees. So that's where you're gonna get your pizza oven quality wood-fired pizza from, is that 700 degree high heat roasting like machine. And boy, is it hot. And as far as the heating elements are concerned in these units, the wood fire grill offers a bottom heating element that heats up the grill grate and a top circulating fan that acts as a convection oven, whereas the outdoor oven has a bottom heating element, a top heating element, and then a convection fan in the back, which circulates the heat and creates, you know, very even temperatures throughout the unit. Okay, so let's talk about what each can and cannot cook. The grill is gonna act like a true grill, so you're gonna have um, that open lid cooking, you're gonna have that heat coming from the bottom, right? So everything is gonna really be bottom heated. So what can the wood fire grill not cook compared to the wood fire oven? It can do almost everything that the outdoor oven can. I gotta be honest, the only thing it really isn't made for is pizzas. This one has a pizza stone and it's made for pizzas. It has a pizza peel that Ninja offers that fits perfectly in the oven. This guy is not really made to make pizzas. People have made pizzas on it, but it's a little harder. You have to get the, the griddle attachment and you know, it's just a little different. So not made for pizzas, but what it does offer that this one doesn't is that open grill feel, the live cooking, uh, if you will, where you can open it, you can look at your food, you can continue cooking with the lid open just like you would a grill because that heat is just coming from the bottom. Whereas in the oven, you really need to keep it closed to keep that heat in and really create even cooking throughout. Also in the oven, something that you can't do, or I wouldn't recommend doing is, the oven offers a pro heat pan, which acts almost like a cast iron pan. It's really heavy, it's really dense, it gets really, really hot, and it creates a nice sear on foods. It acts as a grill or a griddle wood in the way that it gets really hot. It has an elevated roasting rack that can act as grill grates. So if you're trying to grill, you can grill in the oven, but you can't open the lid and kind of check your foods and, look because because things are still kind of in the oven so you don't want to burn yourself so as far as just like moving things around and sauteing isn't that convenient in the oven also you talk about a griddle you've got the pro heat pan which can act as a griddle and create a nice sear but if you want to do smash burgers i wouldn't recommend necessarily pushing down here with the smash burgers you could use the pro heat pan as a griddle pan and smash them but i would take it out of the unit because you don't wanna put a lot of weight on this. The accessory frame is sitting on a couple metal prongs. You know, if you push too hard, you could damage the unit. Okay, another big difference between the two is that the outdoor grill has the air crisp function and features a crisping tray, and the outdoor oven does not offer an air function at all. Now it is an oven and air frying or air crisping is basically just convection baking in a new marketing term sold out to everybody to make it convenient. And hey, I'm a buyer. I got an air fryer. That's a big thing for a lot of people. Now I've got a Facebook community about the outdoor oven. Uh, you can check that below if you wanna join it or check it out. If you have any other questions, we kind of get into more detail. Uh, a lot of people post the recipes and stuff. It's fun, we have a good time, check it out. And the differences in accessories. I already went into the accessories that were offered with the wood fire pro every outdoor oven does come with the grilling gray element and the air crisping basket the outdoor oven comes with the pro heat pan that comes with a roasting rack and a pizza stone which is just really cool because you can do a lot on a pizza stone more than just pizzas a lot of people don't know that 
If I had $400 burning a hole in my freaking pocket and I wanted a Ninja Outdoor Wood Fire product, which one would I choose? I choose the outdoor oven. You can just do more with it all in one unit. The pizza stone in itself is worth it. It's a high heat pizza oven that's electric. That is hard to come by. And like I said, this has the apartment friendly standard, right? You can bring this to your apartment balcony and nobody can say a damn thing to you, which means you can bring this pizza oven to your apartment balcony and nobody can see a damn thing to you. Most pizza ovens are ranging at $300 to start and those are propane. Super cool that it gets that high on electric. Really like that, makes a great pizza. Um, I will say, this is still only gonna do well for two to three people. This is like one to two people. This is two to three people. If you're grilling for a lot of people, this is not for you. Uh, but overall, this looks good. I like the way that this looks. It's modern, you know, it's sleek looking, it's light. This weighs 34 pounds, so you can put it almost anywhere. The stand is like 10 pounds. It's so convenient to move if you do need to move it. I would choose the Wood Fire Outdoor Oven if I had to choose one of them. But if I was an avid griller and it was in an area where I couldn't grill, um, with a traditional grill, I would choose the grill to get that grilling feel. Take a shot for every time I say grill. <laughs> to, get, to get the grilling feel because that is something that a lot of people miss out on. I love opening the grill, the smoke billowing in my face. There's just something about it. There's something about standing at the grill, holding a beer, flipping a chicken, avoiding your family inside. There's just something about it and you just can't get that on the outdoor oven. All right, so you've made it to the end of the video and you're wondering how the hell can I get one of these? You told me I had to come here to find out. So here we are. So we're actually doing two giveaways, one for the grill and one for the outdoor oven. For our subscribers, we're gonna be doing the outdoor grill. All you have to do to win that is comment on this video below. And for our loyal Facebook members, we're gonna be giving away this outdoor oven. All you have to do is become a member of our Ninja Woodfire Outdoor Oven Facebook group and comment on the giveaway video within that group. It's that simple. You guys are what keeps me going, what supports my channel, what keeps me doing this thing that I love and I'm so thankful for you. So if you're still wondering which one is for you, we have more in-depth reviews on each of these units here on our channel. We've also got videos where we put the outdoor grill head to head to big competition smokers, which we'll be doing the same here with the outdoor ovens. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for hitting that like button. Thank you for commenting below for a chance to win. And thank you for becoming a member of my channel. I can't thank you guys enough. I will see you around. Bye.